I see a barbed wire fence with no opening and no pathway and no parking lot and no area for a car. I'm starting to wonder if we chose this job on purpose or if we're being freaking kept here against our will. Hello, everybody, Grace Blaze, and we're back with more Signal Simulator. It's time to find aliens. You can see we've got televised alien activity nowadays. Stuff's happening to the game, man. We found one of the storyline signals that will bring us eventually to the understanding of cosmic awareness within the universe. And now we must find the rest over here. Soon we're going to have our next coordinates. We had upgraded our our uh, towers a little bit over here. Just so that it moves faster. It downloads information faster. And we get coordinates more accurately. Also, updates that are coming in. Let me... Uh, let me get up out of here for a moment. Other updates that are coming in is uh, electrical systems that we're going to have to keep up with and a whole slew more signals, which I'm really looking forward to. Also, I feel like this wasn't here before. I don't seem to remember having a little planetary orbial flickering through the grainy, sad, snowy landscape of the TV while something touches down. I'll tell you something. That right there is a majestic freaking moon. If only the moon looked so glorious at night in real life, with the overpowering size of our towers looming in the distance, and it almost looks like, like sunny reflections or something like that coming off of the mountains that surround our base over here. Oh, we got our first signal. Let's hunt it down. All right, looks like we're at uh, 72, eh, 70 something, and then 58. 70 something and 58. All right, let's start the rotation. I'm pretty close. I've got 57. We already had that set up and then the 72 is right about where we need to be. Let's see if the uh, let's see if the monitors are showing anything on you as well. Yep, right over there. You can clearly see that 80 second line of text that just went past the screen on the bottom left hand side at like, you know, 8,000 miles an hour. That is exactly what we're looking for. That single piece of code contains all the secrets that we're gonna need to find in order to determine who it is we're supposed to save. Now, last time we got our signal, it said Space Explorer. Help. Help. With an explanation point. So, I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be more to do with that. Also, we got a lot more. I'm gonna turn this off. Now that we, there it is. Now that we know what's happening, we don't really need it anymore. I feel like we, we're getting a lot more science points for our upgrades too. I think I'm gonna continue to get, I don't know, either download speed or my rotors. Because the, like I said, the download speed is probably what I have to wait for the most or the second most, with the rotor being probably the, the you know, the first or the, or the second first. The second first, this, or the second. Yeah, that's what I mean. Anyway, we're almost there. Oh, we're getting something right off the bat too. Man, how lucky can you get? What do we got over here? All right, detect, oh, it's, a, it's coming from a star? It's a blue giant with a star class of B, but the signal type is unknown. Very odd. As usual, the whales are playing their glorious tune. <coughs> Through the speakers over here are our, uh, our Beats by Dre speakers going on. You can see working out hard so that we can determine exactly what's happening to the alien kind. Now, I wonder if the raw data will be more like the last time we got like five, go ahead and shut that off too. The last time we got like five lines of raw data. I wonder if I can upgrade anything. Uh, one science point. I think that we get more science points when we legitimately decode what's coming through. While this is downloading, I have to ask something. You look around us and you see millions, millions of dollars. Probably more than millions of dollars. It's probably tens of millions of dollars. Maybe it's more than tens of millions of dollars. We've got the best computer equipment, we've got giant panels on the on the walls, we have satellite dishes as tall as the freaking Empire State Building. Why am I using an $8 mouse? Why do I not even have a mouse pad? Not even maybe something ergonomic. I'm, we're using like 35 cent big pens and we've got a mouse from Walmart for six bucks. This is what you buy because you just broke your $45 mouse and you don't have any money. You haven't, you're like, you haven't gotten paid this, this week yet. So you have to pick up something because if you don't have it, you can't play any, any games or surf the internet or nothing. So you pick up the $8 cheapo. It doesn't even have a name. 
It's usually like Crapotech or something like that. It's it's not Logitech. It's not Corsair. It's nothing. It's usually a bunch of random letters with the word tech at the end of it. Mother of God, this raw data downloads get out of hand. It's definitely more each time we get a new signal. In case you guys are wondering, this right here is the uh, this is the internal computer code for uh, Fortnite. So this is basically what it looks like. Uh, it's a lot smaller than you probably thought, but it's a very flexible code. You gotta squint your eyes, sort of. You can almost see the letters inside. See on the on the very leftmost over there, there's like an F, and then over here we have a we have like a kind of like an O, right there. Holy cow! Now that we've hold on. Now that we've obtained the entire Harry Potter book series in binary code. We're getting a decoding right now. GG, I told you, right there. There's your Fortnite. Good game. S2. And then an I or a 1. I think that's a. I think that's an I. 0 T N Y G M O Police Department D B 4. Uh oh. I have a feeling this is one of those uh, serial number ones. I wonder if I get good, good, uh, science for decoding this, because we had to go through, holy mother of god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines of binary to get this serial number from some freaking alien's bicycle. Alright, this next code is way out there, 334, mother of god. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me get this set up over here. This is gonna take a while because I'm gonna have to go way back, right about there. Let's do it at 3:32, and then it's at 24.2. Okay, back over here, uh, 24, 24, eh, 24.27. Let's do um, let's do like 25. Like that. There we go. Can you believe I only got one friggin' extra science point for that? I think if we get one more science point, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the signal detection. Because I think that's gonna help us get the like this signal faster. You know what I mean? Like start getting coordinates faster. Because there's like a little bit of a downtime before the coordinates start piling in. Usually I go outside, I take a look at the night sky, look over at our, our satellite dishes in awe and greatness. All right, we're not getting anything. We're gonna have to move stuff around a little bit. Hold on, let me see over here. 326. All right, yeah, we gotta move it back more. Let's try that, like 329 or so. 329, 25, the 25's looking good, man. Uh, 330, how about if we move it back? One more time. All right, I actually had to find a different signal. Oh my God, hold on. Sweet Jesus, there we go. I actually had to find a different signal. The signal I just checked out, I couldn't find it. There's nothing there. This one, no. We've got a planet. It's an iron planet, and it's a fast radio burst. What the hell does that mean? An iron planet? Is that a thing? Like a planet made primarily of iron? I don't even know if that's a thing or not. I mean, usually you hear like, you know, it's a rocky planet or it's a gaseous planet, or it's a liquid planet. I never really hear iron planet. I, I guess that means something, I'm really not sure. We have uh, we have enough points now to increase our signal detection, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We got one more point right there, so we, we went up to three momentarily. So I think that's gonna get us our signals from over here quicker and quicker each time. Now the only issue is, is that we're gonna have to wait for all this raw data to download, and God almighty, the last time it downloaded, it was like five or six lines worth, so I don't know if this time it's gonna be like six or seven lines worth. The decoding happened. It was only part of a friggin' serial number this time. We're getting less serial numbers than before! We go turn on my goo over here. I think it's done. Pretty sure it's done? I'm not getting any more decoded data. We've got another signal coming in over here, so I think I'm gonna go start looking for this one, maybe. So I came up here for a uh, breath of fresh air. And I noticed something a little bit concerning. What do you see when you look out from here? You know, besides the green grass and the blue sky and the, the giant rocky formations in the distance. I see a barbed wire fence with no opening and no pathway and no parking lot and no area for a car. I'm starting to wonder if we chose this job on purpose or if we're being freaking kept here against our will. All right, we got a new signal coming in. Let's go solve this thing. Find some aliens. Become famous. What do we got over here? Uh, oh, jeez. 10771. 10771. Well, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty close to where we're at. Uh, 10771. Let's go over here. Go right about there. Dial it on back. 71? Yeah, 73. That should be okay. And then, 
pop it on over this way. 108 right now? 108? That's not too shabby. 108. All right, fire it up. All right, we got another signal coming in over here. Hold on, turn all this crap off. This one's gonna be a star. It's a pulsar, star class A, signal type unknown. So what, what does a pulsar class A mean? And will we finally get the answers that we're looking for about who needed help? We're getting all kinds of friggin' signals done over here. Uh, if I get, man, it, I hate the fact that it takes six points in order to uh in order to get somewhere i may even put my next six points in the coordinate detection because it makes it more accurate that way and i would kind of appreciate it every once in a while you guys don't see but i have to wander around from coordinate to coordinate before i find out what exactly it's looking for because the accuracy level is kind of flubby right now like every once in a while i'm eh, okay close but usually i'm like 103, 104, 105, 106. I have to check all these frequencies until I eventually stumble upon the right one. Usually it only takes me about like less than 10 attempts. And I can do 10 attempts in like, you know, 20 seconds. But every once in a while, it becomes a real pain in the ass. All right, we got another piece of decoded data. The only problem is, I think it's just like the beginning part of a VIN number to an Audi or something. Okay, something's going on here. I just got a new signal. Look at this crap. It's not a planet. It's not a star. It's nothing. I don't even know what it is. Is there any kind of sound? All right, we have our we have our typical our typical singing whale sound, but everything is unknown. What does that mean? What what are we going to learn something new about the alien peoples? Are we being dragged around the entire galactic lands for nothing? Come on, baby. And I would have thought that this would have been something very specific, like the, the thing that we were actually looking for, because it was so unusual, instead of coming from a star or a, or a pulsar or a planet or something like that, it was completely unknown. Crap. Well, back to the drawing board. All right, we got another signal coming in over here. This is gonna be the last one, man. This is for all the marbles. This is to determine whether or not alien life exists. Actually, it existed because they contacted us last time. They just may be dead now. So it's possible that the, the help notice that we got, we didn't get to it in time. And now the one instance of extraterrestrial intelligent life is gone. So, uh, it's possible that because of us, we are now officially alone in the universe. Okay. We've got a star. It's a dwarf star, so it sucks a little bit more than the last star. It's a star class of M. So it's way later in the alphabet. And it's a fast radio burst. We just got another science point that puts us up to five. So now this is it. This is this is the final instance to find out if we can finally move the story on and determine exactly what the hell's so top secret about these files over here. You ever wonder what old Yeller looked like in binary code? This is it. Mother of God. I never thought it would get this far. How many lines? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight freaking lines of binary raw data. This better be the entire history of extraterrestrial life shoved into a compact 120 word or less sentence. This is a lot of information. I better be getting stacks of science for this. Stacks of science. Because there is no science that I could be tempted with to have to sit through this. This, I will say, this portion here takes way too long. Like, I, like I said, I could cut it out for you guys, so it's no big deal. But for poor Gray to have to sit through the zeros and the ones for like 600 characters worth of them, it's just too much for one man to bear. Oh, oh, it just got done. It just got done. This bit, that image right there is probably the soul of every alien ever made crashing down into a sphere of sadness. Oh, it's just a hodgepodge of numbers. I did it. I have discovered the reality behind extraterrestrial life. They're trolls. That's what it is, you understand. It was, they, they never had any intention of contacting us at all. The only thing that they wanted to do was freaking troll me. Help, they said. Help, they cried out into the cosmos. And then this is what I get. Right over here. 
I get a discount code for like an online Sears purchase. Holy God, it was like two serial numbers bundled to one. Now I will say we just got six full points for our current science, so we can upgrade one of these and then we can get back on track. How come it says this monitor is off? This monitor is clearly not off. We back up out of here. <laughs> it's back to green. But when you get into it, it's red. All right, that's gonna be it for now. We can upgrade our antenna. Yeah, I wanna find out what, I, I know there is more to the story. I know that there is additional signals out there that will lead us to the promised land of extraterrestrial intelligent conversation amongst the stars. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Signal Simulator. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.